Hi. Hello. Okay. Um, my name is Tanae. I'm the current president of our NAACP chapter. Great. And so I just have a few questions. During your entire presentation, I noticed that you failed to mention that feminism is the belief that men and women are equal. So do you not think this? And then also, I noticed when you were talking about America's values and about how great America is, yep. you failed to mention that our nation was built on the power of white men without the acknowledgement of black people, the Indians, women at least. So do you not think that men and women are equal? Do you not acknowledge the problems that we have here in America that does, in fact, not make America great? All right. Um, no, no, no. Let's be. Let's I mean, be, let's be not triggered. I understand no, 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 how to no, no, handle no, no. myself. A, unlike some Trump guys, supporters. Guys, guys, guys. It was a, so. it was a perfectly reasonable, respectful question. Let's be respectful. Thank you. Um, on the first half of your question, women don't agree with you. Uh, fewer than one in five women in America describes themselves as a feminist, even mm -hmm. though over eighty-five percent of them believe in inequality between the sexes. Why? Because they know that feminism has become something different now. They know that the feminism you're talking about, it's very convenient, isn't it, to sort of treat men like shit. And then when people say, I'm not a feminist, say, oh, but feminism's out of quality. That's not what feminism has become. It's not what feminism is anymore. Feminism is a mean, vindictive, spiteful, nasty, man-hating philosophy. So that why has very would you Well, let me finish, because I let you finish, okay? okay. Um, that has very little to do with the equality of the sexes and a lot to do with man-hating. And the way that you know that is women are abandoning it in their millions. Women don't want feminism anymore. They have rejected your version completely. They don't agree with you. In the UK, the numbers are even worse. Just 7% of women in the UK describe themselves as feminist, despite the fact that 92% of women, in, uh, of women in, in the UK believe in equality of the sexes. It's very clear what's happening. They don't believe that those two things mean the same, because if they did, they'd give the pollsters the same answer to, the, to the, both those questions. Women know that feminists say one thing and do another. Women know that the primary purpose of feminism these days isn't to promote equality, it is to beat down on men. So you've lost, you know, you have a big PR problem on your hands. And when you come up and say, you know, well, how dare you not mention that it's actually just about equality of the sexes. Don't you believe in equality of the sexes? I very clearly said in my speech for multiple times that I do and that I love women, that I care about them. But, um, you know, this sleight of hand that feminists play when they're perfectly happy to treat men like shit and, and, and spread these conspiracy theories about the patriarchy, these lies about the wage gap, lies about campus rape culture, and then turn around and play the victim and play innocent and say, feminism is just about equality. Give me a break. Give me a break. So... <clears throat> as to your... As to your s second part of your question, um, I, I, get some, I get some shit from conservatives for this answer, by the way, but I agree with you. I agree with you that there are structural historical problems in this country. Um, I agree with you that black community has been treated like hell by both Democrats and Republicans. I just don't think Black Lives Matter is the answer. Um, I don't think that throwing your toys out the pram and burning your own cities is the answer. I think better schools would help. And I think if black people really wanted to improve their lot and improve their situation, they would start voting for Republicans. Because when they do, and when people police properly, black lives are saved. Bill Clinton, who signed the crime bill in, which took thousands of black dads out of families and threw them in jail, the terrible, pointless, awful war on, cr war on drugs, right? Um, replacing you know, the, the, the black dad with the state, which is what Democrats have systematically tried to do to you guys for generations. And Black Lives Matter's response isn't to say, we're going to try voting for the other guys because 40, 40 years of this hasn't worked. What we want is better schools so that a poor black child who is smart could go to Harvard. They don't do that. They cause a fuss, they block a road, and they burn their own towns down. So yeah, I agree with you that there's a problem. But I, I think we probably have very, very different prescriptions for that. I saw, I saw a photo out the back, someone just tweeted it, I was like, she really shouldn't wear those shorts. <laughs> the main, you know, I don't know why Black Lives Matter protests me, um, I really don't, um, and I've, you can fill in the obvious jokes there. <laughs> blacker, than, blacker than they are.
I'm in, I'm in foam posits. They can't even afford these shoes. I want to try... Oh, did you say someone's who trans? There was this guy at American University, right? The worst outfit I've ever seen. So, and he had this sign that said, like, Milo wants me dead. I'm like, no, honey, I just want you in different clothes. Um, you know, this... this is I've worked out why there are so many black girls here. I think it's because I fucked their brothers. Guys, and quiet. That would be great. This is a very low standard of protest. At Rutgers, they at least brought paint. You know, I worked out why there's so many black girls here. I think it's because I fucked their brothers. Audience, please remain sitting. Please be quiet. Sorry, I give it 20 minutes. The uh, statistics for black incarceration are about to go up. Down. Imagine, imagine going home to your parents and having to explain you're in prison because you were protesting a faggot. <laughs> well, well, mom, there was this gay man who just had the wrong opinions. <laughs> you see, this lady, show, this lady turns up. She's speaking on behalf of respectfulness and hard work, and they call her a white supremacist. If there's anyone perpetuating stereotypes about blacks, it's them. <laughs> You're not doing anything to dissuade stereotypes about drug addiction either. I have an idea how we can solve this. Maybe I'll just come here. You see, I don't have a problem with anybody on the basis of their skin color. Who would? I don't have a problem with anyone on the basis of their sexuality, although I know she's got some interesting things to say about fashion, which perhaps betray. In that fucking outfit, she wants to be careful. You see, I often say that social justice is a product of, um, you know, the ugly and the mediocre and the unpopular. Well, you guys can see the difference in popularity. It <laughs> might be time to go. This is a Republican safe space. Don't you guys feel threatened? As a minority, I'm feeling very oppressed. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's interesting. They're always banging on about minorities being silenced. I only see one minority being silenced in this room, and it ain't you, sweetheart. <laughs> You've been silenced for 200 years. You don't look that old. <clears throat> Does somebody have a question? This is called fascism, folks. It's fascism. I will not be answering questions about Ben Shapiro's height. I will not. I am not going to get drawn on the subject of how diminutive he is. I will not answer questions about how short he is. I will not get drawn into a discussion about how he peers over the podium like a small child. I refuse to be drawn on the subject of his gigantic platform shoes. You know those things that Tom Cruise has? I absolutely will not discuss with you that picture. Did you see that picture with Ted Cruz? Oh my goodness. You know, well, you know, like, we're gonna, I'm going to debate him soon, I think. So I don't want to be too mean because he's going he's gonna to come for me. He's going to come for me. I don't want to be too mean. But you see, you see, it's fine now. We're having a nice time soon I think so I don't want to be too mean because he's gonna he's gonna come for me he's gonna come for me I don't want to be too mean but you see you see it's fine now we're having a nice time you're just very beautiful stage dressing for me if you weren't such an obnoxious cunt I'd hit on you he's 
ready to hit me? Oh, by the by the way, guys, I don't know if any of the if any of the security are listening because this college is such spineless cunts. They threw, they threw, exactly. They threw a last minute demand. They they threw they threw a last minute demand on the students organizing this event, demanding $1, thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars for security, and the security is doing nothing, nothing. I'm what are we paying for security for? You know, the funny thing is, we actually made up the shortfall. Breitbart paid a thousand dollars of the money for this, for them to do absolutely nothing. Thanks, security.